Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Tug with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, having yourself a great day as always. I am back on my little cliffside where we finished off in the last episode. And I've started building myself a small little hut. Like this place here is is isn't much. It isn't much, but it's something. It's something that's better than nothing. And I'm gonna bring it out a little bit and such, dig up the land, get it nice and flat so that we can lay some bits and bobs in there. But it's gonna take some time to get it looking real good because it is it's not easy bringing all the materials back and forth. I found a banana as well. Look, bananas, that's the thing. So I think today what we're gonna do is we're going to craft a few more things that are going to be really handy and we're going to start working on getting a little farm put together so that we can farm all of our food because I got a decent amount of food here but I don't think any of this can actually be placed in the ground at the minute we need to prepare it before we can you know pop it in the ground and get a load of little saplings and get some food from it that way and to do this we're going to need ourselves a crafting table yes and a crafting table is going to require a few materials so we're going to need ourselves some of these branches some of these little stick as you know we need some of these guys and some of this stuff yes so let me uh, get all my bits together so we're going to need some of these so we need four of these so let's pop these down. There we go. We're going to need ourselves three of these guys. So let's throw three of those down. And where are you going? <laughs> and we're going to need some of this stuff. So I think we need four vines. And uh, I think these might have jumped out of the way a little bit too far. Let's try this again. There we go. Get back in the... There we go. Now it's doing it. <laughs> just a little bit too far away cool so now we got ourselves a crafting table which we can use or like a little preparation table that we can use to put our foods on and uh, i think we can prepare our foods so if i place an orange on it and i push g to kind of craft it gives me these guys little orange slices and i think these are what we can plant in the ground to be able to grow more of the orange trees yes and i can pick this up and move this around so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this in here our little preparation table let's pop it down there yes it's starting to come along nicely and we can start doing that now we're also going to want a bed because it's pretty dark and i don't like working in the dark because there's oh there could be horrible mean things out there all right there isn't at the minute but there will be at some point so if we want a bed we're going to need a couple of things as well. So we're going to need some triangular log guys. So we need a couple of those. We need some sticks. Some big sticks. I think we need two of those. And some leaves as well. So one, two, three. And this should make me a crude little bed. Yes. There we go. All right. So let's sleep in my bed. It does a little kind of smoothing out moment you know you're falling asleep and then you wake up and bam look it's daytime again lovely so we'll take this guy and we'll pop it over here oh my lord that's large i don't know if i can actually place it in here aha oh wow that just fit perfectly into the corner a little, a little bit off but hey that's fine nice okay so we've got our crafting thing we've got a little bed oh um, man i can't wait to have a proper house with like a double story house with a fireplace and stuff. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> so let's pick where we want to do our farming. I guess we've already started here. So this is probably going to make sense to do it, isn't it? So let's get our hoe. And we're going to do some hoeing. Yes. And we'll decide the plants that we want as well. I don't know what ones I can actually have. There's like a certain selection that we're allowed to use. Let's keep hoeing all of this. Oh, we're going to have a little raised area. Oh, I want a little raised area. I wonder if I can... Can we... Oh, hey. Oh, man. I think this whole area is going gonna, is gonna to be a bit weird, isn't it? Can I just throw down some dirt? Let's see if we can just put some dirt in there. Wait. Hey. Oh, man. Well, we'll just, we'll just have the raised area. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No farm is perfect. Unless I build it, like, far away. And I want to see, see my stuff growing. Because apparently it grows and it looks really cool. So let's do all this stuff. Oh, there we go. And keep hoeing. Yes. Cool beans. We'll get a nice decent area. I think we might even make some fences in a mow so that we can make sure none of those pesky goats come and eat our seeds because that would suck. Alright, so we got a little area here. Okay. There we go. Get it nice. Oh man, I've got to do this bit now. I have to do this bit now because we just. There we go. A little bit here. Alright. Cool. 
so it's it's pretty farmable. It looks like we've buried someone under there, but except for that, it's just fine. So let's take this guy out. And we'll go over to our little crafting majigger, and we're going to try and prepare some more of this food. We've already got the orange, so we've got an orange. Um, I wonder if we can prepare bananas. Let's pop a banana on there. Uh, where did where did my oh man my bananas on the floor? Uh, okay, let's let's try this again. Banana. Okay, right, banana doesn't work. <laughs> they're just for uh, they're just they're just for eating. Oh, can I get this a little bit? Is that on the socks on the side? Okay, let's. There we go. That's better. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm falling. Right. Let's go over here, and we're gonna we're gonna try this again. So these guys. There we go. And we'll push G on these. And I don't even know what these things are. They just look cool. Ooh. Oh, we got some green stuff. Well, I guess we'll let's grab some more green stuff. <laughs> and there are some more uh, fruits and foods out there that we can get our hands on. So we've got oranges. We've got green stuff. Lovely. Everyone loves green stuff. Let's get some of this green stuff. Can I prepare this? Alright, I can't prepare that. So we've got oranges. Maybe we'll get another orange as well. I can't tell if that oranges or peaches. Like, but they, they kind of... It's definitely an orange, isn't it, when you break it open. So, let's decide where we want to put these. So the first one can be, like, here. There we go. Oh man, look how cool this looks as well when they're growing. Check it out. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? Look. You actually see the little guy growing. Oh, that's so cool. Is it? Is it stopped? Oh no, it's still growing. Ah. Wow. That's funky. Okay. So let's pop another one like here, I guess. Like around here. Cool. And now we've got our green stuff. Does our green stuff stack? It doesn't. It looks like a brain. <laughs> a greenish brain. I think it's like seeds. I think it's like a pile of seeds or something. But let's put our seeds like here. There we go. Oh, is this going to turn into like a bush? Oh, these are those ground bushes, aren't they? Ah, okay. Well, we'll have one there. Oh, and we'll have another one like on the mound of dirt. Cool. So I guess they're going to slowly grow. And eventually, they're going to give us some fruit. They'll bear some fruit for us so that we can live off of it, which is really nice. I don't know how long they take to grow. I have no idea. I remember reading on the wiki <clears throat> something about how they need, like, uh, they need sunlight. And they need, like, they actually look at the area around them when they're growing. So hopefully I haven't placed these too close together. We'll find out eventually if they stop growing. But are they, are they still growing? Yeah, they're still growing at the minute. I wonder if these guys are growing. Are they growing? If I paste, like, if I put my cursor there, is it going to go past it? Yeah. He's still growing. Cool beans. Nice. All right, so to stop the goats, the pesky goats coming along and eating our seeds, we're probably going to want to make some fences. And fences are pretty cool. We need some sticks and we need some vines. Now, I think we've got enough to make one fence at the minute. Uh, we might need, oh, we need some more vines, don't we? All right, let's see if we can find some more vines. Yeah, we'll get a load from these. So let's chop down these little trees. There we go. And that should be enough to make our first fence. So let's get some sticks and some vines. That should give me a fence. Now, when I was playing with these on the stream, because we did a stream not too long ago, actually, it was about two hours ago, <laughs> and uh, the guys probably are wondering how I figured out how to make the crafting table, because I couldn't figure it out for the life of me, but I did figure it out eventually. Um, we made this fence, and it's a little, kind of a little bit derpy, because you kind of get stuck in it, but it, I figured out that you just kind of walk forward, and you make your way out of it. Now, I need to try and line this up right, so, uh, no. It seems to do you right in the middle of it, so if I did it, like, here. Oh. Oh, oh man, now I'm probably, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's bad, look at that. So if we get some more around the edges, we could have our little cabbage patch area. We've got some things and some guys. So what else do we need? We need some more sticks. Let's grab some more sticks. And we'll grab these ones as well. And for each one, we need three vines. So we are going to need a fair few more vines. So let's take these. And I think we're probably going to need another axe at some point as well, because the axes do seem to go down fairly fast. Let's eat some of those. 
get some more vines, and we'll make another fence. And then I think the next thing really on the agenda is to go around and see if we can find some more foods for our farm. Let's get these cool beans. And yeah, there goes my axe. All right, so that's axe done. Or we could make a fire, but I don't think the fires last that long. Oh man, these, I just can't go over how cool they look. All right, so two sticks and oh, I think it might have done one then. Can we shift click them out? Aha, there we go. All right, two sticks and a vine and a vine oh we need another vine and this will give us our second one so let's take you cool beans and we'll place you along here again now i don't know how well these are going to match up but it's always worth a shot isn't it uh, uh that's not that that's not that bad i'm kind of all right with that there's a bit of a gap here, but you know, we're like kind of prehistoric age, so nothing's going to be perfect, is it? But at least that should stop the goats from getting through, because the goats in this are like twice the size of me, so yeah. Right, let's have a sleep. Get it back to daytime. And before we wrap up, we should probably see if we can find some more food, or whether we can find a new area to relax. Uh, I need some more vines as well, and we could do with some more wood. And we could do with some more rocks. Yes. Mm. And maybe we'll find some uh, some goats while we're at it. So I'm going to grab all of these large sticks because we're definitely going to need those. We're going to need little sticks because we're going to need to make ourselves another axe in a minute. And let's see if we've got any axe heads around here we have. Lovely. So let's uh, do this. So it's an axe head. We need a stick. Perfect. And we need another vine, and this should give us a swanky new crude pickaxe. Or crude axe. Yes, that's the one. There we go. <laughs> and we'll take that with us as well. Let's take all of these. Oh, I think I'm a little bit full there. Yep, that should do the trick. Okay, right. So let's see if we can go find some more fruit to be using. We've done the oranges and we've done the green brain things. I wonder if we can find some apples, because there are apple trees around as well that we might be able to use. So they're kind of just popped around all over the place. That could be slightly handy. Let's go off over this way. So we've already got one of those. That's the orange tree right over this way. Yes. There are funguses as well, but I don't know if we can eat the funguses. <laughs> we've got... Aha! Alright, so we've got blue fungus. Oh, that's... Blue red fungus. Am I full on site? I got. Uh, let's drop the bananas. Okay. So we got that stuff. Oh, there's a tree. I was wondering what that was. That's like kind of sticking out of the ground. Ah, so they don't stack. Okay. What are these? Oh. They are red as well. Oh, I wonder if just the funguses all just come out the same. That kind of looks like they do, don't it? Okay. So the funguses all basically come out the same. We need a apple bush. And, you know, to try the hardest, try our hardest not to lose our base. Because I really don't want to lose my base. What is that in there? Who knows? So apples is the main thing. And maybe in the next episode, because we managed to do it on stream. There's a goat up there, by the way. We managed to do it on stream. We managed to hunt ourselves a goat. So that could be something that we try in the next episode. I want to get some... Uh, I want to get a fireplace going. I want to work on the house a little bit. And I would like to go hunting. What is that? That kind of looks like a weird bush. Uh, I don't think it's got any apples on it. So we'll just keep going this way, see what we find. Hopefully we'll find ourselves some bits and bolts. Now, uh, I am looking forward to the next update that comes out because it's going to be pretty interesting. From what I've heard, it's going to have uh, potions and things in it. So like, uh, you know, brewing. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Like, uh, everyone loves brewing, making some funky potions. I'm all up for brewing. So maybe we'll have some brewing. Um, I have heard that there's going to be like predatory AI as well. 
which is kind of scary because at the minute the nights aren't all that bad they're just fairly dark and we got a bed now so that's fine we can just lay down in our little uh, leafy hammock and have a sleepies but with guys out dude what is that over there why is there a smoke stuff we need to look at this oh look at those branches as well huh that's kind of cool Yeah, with predatory guys, that's going to be pretty scary, isn't it? I wonder what they're going to be. Oh, wow, look at this. Little bubbly guy. Can I break it? No. Can I pickaxe it? No. Uh, hold on, where's my pickaxe? There it is. Hey! Hey! Nope. Does it hurt me? I don't think so. Let's try and get a bit of a running jump. Hey! Oh, no, I, I failed. I failed. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, can I, can I not, can I not run jump? I can. I just need a bit of a, I need a bit of a. Hey! Nope. Wow. That's still pretty cool, though. I can see that get used. I can see that that must get used for something later on. Like, collecting it or something. Taking the gases. Who knows? You know. But that seems pretty cool, doesn't it? Wow. But yeah, having bad guys is definitely going to make it have it a lot more interesting. Spicing the nightlife up just a tad. Making it that little bit more scary. Because then you got to be, you know, you can't just run around. You've actually got to make a house. You've got to make sure that the guys can't get in, whatever they are. Whether they're small or large. Who knows what size they're going to be. But if they can fit through your front door, you're definitely not going to want that to happen. I know I'm not going to want that to happen. So it's going to be pretty scary stuff. But I don't think we're going to be finding an apple tree anytime soon. Oh, here's we're back at the orange tree, and my house is just up this way, I think. Yeah, it's like just up there. Okay, right. So let's drop this stuff. Get rid of the grass. Don't want the grass. I don't want mud. Don't want that. Let's uh, before we uh, finish up, let's just grab some more wood. Add a couple more layers to our house, I think. There we go. Get rid of these. So you can harvest quite a lot of wood pretty fast. I have noticed your uh, your axe goes down pretty quickly as well, as far as durability goes. But hey, you're chopping down huge trees with a little crude axe that was made from stone pebbles. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna take some durability. I can only guess you're gonna be able to get better ones later on that aren't gonna break so easily. But for now, these will do just fine. All right, so let's patch up the house a tad. And I think we'll call it a day after that. See how our trees, oh my God, we've got a bush. We have a bush. It bears zero fruit so far, but I'm guessing eventually we're gonna have some fruitage on it. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Yes, have a large, area an orchard full of oranges amazing all right so what was i i was using these ones i think no these were the edges okay so it's like this yes this is what i wanted Bring this along here like so oh this is looking loads better so this could be like our small little area here where we do our crafting and our sleeping. I could have another area off over here where we could have some fruit, maybe, a selection of uh, mildly tasty fruits. And we have got chests, but I don't know if chests work yet. So we might have to test out the chests to see if we can place stuff in the chests. Because I have got a lot of stuff kind of just lying around at the minute and my inventory isn't all that great. So we could do some chests. So maybe we'll give those a try, see what it's all about. Get some more torches, lay them around, get rid of all of this grassy stuff and maybe make a terrace yeah it's gonna be funky <laughs> cool beans all right guys i'll see you soon for another episode have yourself a great day have a good and as always and goodbye